Hello and welcome everybody uh, to a video where I'm going to be discussing what exactly happened with me a couple of days ago and the surgery and everything because I received a surprising, a surprising amount of, of messages from social media and, what, and whatnot saying, oh, hope you pulled through man, you alive, you know, good luck, etc, etc, and it, it's touching. It really is. It is touching. It is genuinely touching and it helps. So I just want to take a couple of minutes of your time to, if you're interested in watching the video that is, to discuss what exactly happened. And that's all the video is going to be. I'm going to talk about my surgery and how I pulled through and is everything fine and etc, etc. So long, short version, yes, I'm okay now. Long version, the rest of the video, I suppose. Where do we begin? Yes, uh, the video is going to be just me talking about that and some armored warfare gameplay in the background, just to, just to make the video more than a black screen, I suppose. So here we go. Let's begin with um, this, specifically to one of you out there that that wrote. To specifically to one of you. This goes specifically to one of you. Yes, Chloe, I am alive. No, I am not recording this from the grave. Even though that would be incredibly impressive. I'm very much alive, unless... I mean, the last time I checked, I was alive. I can't be so sure right now, but... Last three times you were, you asked as well, yes, I'm alive. <laughs> on a more serious note, on a more serious note, uh... For everyone... Yeah, I'm, I'm fine, don't worry about it. On November the 7th, or on the 7th of November, I'm pretty sure that's... That's what I was supposed to say, on the 7th of November. I had surgery take place on my body <laughs> in a nearby town about 20 minutes away from here. And you might think, well, November 7th, so well, why did you, you repeat that? Um, so, why well, did you emphasize November 7th? Um, because it's a bit of an important date for us geeks and nerds and other pathetic human beings out there. I'm joking. I'm only half joking, actually. Um, but yes, th this guy just spawned in front of me. Don't, don't worry about it. I'm just gonna, just, just, yeah, just gonna do this. Um, well, it is considered Mass Effect Day, and let's be honest, nothing bad is going to happen to me on Mass Effect Day. Let's just be real here. It's Mass Effect Day. Nothing bad ever happens on Mass Effect Day. Also, I've heard. Um, it's kind of like the May the 4th is, May the 4th is Star Wars Day, it's kind of like our Mass Effect thing, because N7, the inscription on the armor and everything, moving on. So I go there, they have my blood and uh, the, the first thing they give me actually is not an, an, a blood analysis, not a regular checkup, not, even though they did all that, uh, it turns out I was in perfect health, which is, is kind of worrying. Um, it's like either I'm really in good shape or all of their um, equipment is broken, a combination of both is equally probable. So, like, the first thing they give me is Wi-Fi passwords. Is the, per well, the, the password to, to the hospital's Wi-Fi. And, like, this is a good sign. I'm in a modern hospital that understands the needs and addictions of an average young adult in the 21st century. This is good. This is good. I, we're off to the, to the right track. Um, so, you know, screw surgery, screw blood analysis, screw everything else. You're getting Wi-Fi password first. And I, I go, okay, thanks, I think. Um, so I was able to, to like read you, read you guys' messages and everything. I just couldn't record anything, obviously. Uh, but moving on. So they put me, and everyone's everyone's hospital is a bit nervous that day for some reason. Everyone's hospital, like, and everyone's asking me, "Are you scared? Are you nervous? Are you scared? Are you nervous?" No, no I've made my peace, uh, and my ease of mind, if I can call it that, much c comes a lot in part from, from all the messages that I got um, from you people, which was actually kind of touching, I, I will admit. I'm not the most emotional person out there, but I will admit that it was kind of touching. Um, <laughs> so yeah, so they, 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 like people, there's people just at one point get annoying, and it's like, uh, why are you operating? Are you having brain transplant surgery? And then like, I wish. I wish I was, really. Trust me, it would be epic. It would be an epic thing, thing to tweet about, wouldn't it? <laughs> it would be a, a good thing to tweet about, wouldn't it? That, that, that would earn a couple of favourites and then retweets, wouldn't it? I think it would. Um, but no, in, on a more serious note, like, don't, I, I just told them, and I'm going to keep saying this, don't worry your pretty little heads about me. 
Um, I was going to be fine, and I am fine now. So... Yeah, everyone's gonna, everyone there's like, oh, you nervous, you nervous, are you scared? Are you, no, 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 don't worry about it. Uh, oh, I love that shot so much. Look at that shot. Do you want to just marry that shot? Straight through the blue guy. Poor thing. Mm, another one. Uh, actually good shooting from him. Distracted, but I am I'm being shot at by two different tanks. Uh, as you you may understand why I'm a bit distracted right now. Okay. Crisis largely averted. Crisis fully averted. Uh, so uh, it did happen. Did I mention this? I I forget because this is, in case you couldn't tell, it's not the first time I'm recording this video. Um. I, it happened in a nearby town from from this one, about 20 minutes of driving uh, from here to there, and I, did, I do have a bunch of friends that live over there, so I was like, yo, you want to come over and visit me? Because pretty much after after I, I, I was done with the surgery, the only thing that's sort of in danger of killing me was boredom, and it damn near succeeded. Tell you what, spending 24 hours in bed, although be it with Wi-Fi, but spending 24 hours in bed is... Not very easy, you know. Not being able to move out of that room—it's not very easy. Um, but like the, the post-surgery thing went perfectly well when I woke up after anesthesia. Um, I didn't. I, people usually get dizzy or throw up or, or something like that. Now I was, I was like, I was hungry, <laughs> which I was, which I'm told is a great sign. I was actually hungry after after the surgery. It wasn't like dizzy or anything. I was just wanted to eat something, uh, which is great. So, if I can avoid getting killed here, which would be absolutely perfect. Come on, thank you. Uh, well, it all goes fairly well, I'm, I'm told, uh, as, as good as it can go, I think. Uh, so the doctors tell me they could be lying. I get released out of the hospital the next day, and I'm, I get put on a bunch of painkillers. So, I couldn't exactly do anything. I had about half an hour of me hallucinating and talking to an empty room, I think. Uh, though I don't really... There are blank spots in, in my memory. <laughs> uh, but, yeah. Yeah, other than that, uh, I had some bandaging problems with, with the bandages. So I had to go back there and get rebandaged like, twice. And I'm going to have to go again and again for over the next five days. Which takes about 20 minutes out of my day, which is not that bad. Um, but yeah, it doesn't hurt, which it kind of surprises them, I guess. Which, uh, usually you do, get, you, get, you do get a bit of discomfort somewhere, either in your stomach, your head, you know, something is, feels a bit off after 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 the surgery, but apparently I'm fine. Um, yeah, that was a great game, by the way. Uh, so, that's it. That's it. Uh, do you people, I wanted to ask something, do you people find yourselves... When you're nervous, uh, telling jokes to, to yourself, like entertaining yourselves in that way. Because I swear to God, I had a moment of brilliance in that hospital. I made up a small comedy sketch. I made, I made a, a short comedy sketch out of a kind of a serious situation. People do that, do they tell jokes to themselves or am I just going insane? I guess what I'm trying to, to ask is, am I a psycho? Oh no, he didn't reference a rap song that maybe someone hasn't heard of. But yes, he did. Uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> Forget about it. Uh, but, yes. What was I going to say? Yeah. I, just, I lost my train of thought completely. I apologize. Um, where was I? Yes, small comedy sketch. Um, like before, I practically seconds before I pass out because I can sort of feel it. Uh, yeah, it's like any second now I'm just gonna roll my roll my eyes back and just gonna you know, go into into deep sleep and they they can operate on me. It's like before that I was like, gentlemen, you may begin, and literally that instant I just the head goes just boom, 
all the way all the way down on, on the pillow and I was just like lose all consciousness which was kind of amusing uh, that I perfectly timed that it's, it's almost as if as if I knew so um, yes it, it was it wasn't it wasn't I wasn't nervous, it wasn't uncomfortable at all, I'm, I'm very much still alive, I'm not recording from the grave as mentioned. Um, I just want to make this in, or, or rather as a sign of appreciation for everybody. It helps, it genuinely helps, I guess, it, as, usual, as usual it takes me like 15 minutes to get to the point of the video. It does help and it, it may be a bit uncomfortable talking about something like this to a degree but it honestly does help um, when when you get messages like that and people wishing you luck and then you know seeing that you've that at least a little bit someone out there cares about you and it's not your your sister and mum and dad and, and you know, your best friend or whatever there's, there's, there's like a, a bit of a wider audience out there that some, to some extent, at least a little bit uh, care about you and, and wish you luck and whatnot. It, it really gets you into this frame of mind of like, yeah, I've, I feel good about myself. I feel good about my life in general. It may sound a bit pathetic, you know, it does to, to someone who's going to be like, what are you talking about? But it, it's, it's kind of like that for me. Um, yeah. Don't get me wrong, like, don't get me wrong, it, when, when I say it feels good, like, it doesn't feel good to have someone worried about you, or it doesn't feel good to, to have someone say, don't die on me, bruh, but, <laughs> uh, but, but seriously, like, it, it feels nice, I guess, I, I hope you can understand what I mean, it kind of feels nice to, to, to know that you're quote-unquote not alone in this, if that makes any sense. But I was, I was touched, I was... <laughs> I was generally, uh, gen genuinely touched uh, by, by people saying all the things that they said, and I guess in my little own pathetic way, this is what I've made for you in sign of uh, appreciation for what you've done for me, which is basically take two seconds of your, of your day, but take like a minute of your day and then message me something, I guess. I'll find a way to repay my. I will. I will find a way to repay myself. To you people, I will. I will. I'll, I'm gonna do like a giveaway or something eventually. I'm gonna find something to give away. Um, but yeah, we're we're back on track. Like I'm gonna I'm gonna probably buy a microphone. Uh, hopefully, though I'm not. Yo, okay, that's that. That's just all tab me out of the game. I'm sorry. Um, wow. Okay, do not click that button. I'm gonna click here. Misclicked. Never mind. Um, but yeah, I was gonna say, uh, I was gonna say, thank you, everybody, and I will do, uh, I will buy a microphone, and I will, so you, you, so you're not gonna have to listen to this constant, what's going on in the background, because, trust me, it's very annoying, I'm well aware, thing is, I don't exactly know where to find a good microphone, it's kind of like searching for a needle in a haystack over here. Because um, you, you can't walk up to a store and go. I, well, this is completely off the off the given topic, but just bear with me for a minute. You can't walk up to a store and go. I'm recording YouTube videos. I need a good microphone. They um, just gonna look at you like you're the, the bloody devil or something. Uh, no, you need a vocalist's microphone, a microphone for a singer. And trust me, I I do not sing. I am the worst at singing. There 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 is bad. There is horrible. And then there's me singing. Um, so it's, I understand that the irony is is thick and heavy there, but hopefully I'm gonna I'm gonna try I'm gonna try and find something um, that's kind of affordable and that I can that I can somehow get delivered to me. Other than that, videos should be back up to normal. Uh, Fire Four is coming out in exactly eight hours from now, and let's be honest, like I wasn't gonna miss the release of Fallout Four. I, I was not going to miss that. Don't care about your shit nature. Nobody gives a fuck about your shit. I'm not missing Fallout 4. That is not something that I'm going to miss. That is something that I'm going to be present for. Thank you very much. And it turns out I will be. <laughs>
other than that, there is not much to talk about. Uh, other than one final... <laughs> Don't say that. It's, people are going to take it the wrong way. Not one final. But for this video, at least, in the context of this video, well, uh, our last, my last thank you to everyone. As, um... As it, it was moving. It, it honestly was. I'm going to find a way to repay myself to you guys. I feel obliged now. I feel morally obliged to repay myself. Not sure how, but I'm going to do it. Um, yeah. Until next time. Take care. And, uh... Goodbye.